Welcome to Geography A-Level. Why choose Geography A-Level? At A-Level, you will cover both the physical and human environments and the complex interaction of processes that shape our world. Probably most importantly, you will study how human intervention affects the environment and how people adapt and mitigate the effects of processes on their environment, which makes geography a complex and dynamic subject. You will also be able to apply case study knowledge as real world examples from the local, national, regional and global scales. Geography will encourage you to become an independent thinker and learner. There is no better time to study geography. Geography A-Level comprises of three different elements. Paper one is physical geography, which is worth 40% of your A-Level. It's for two hours and 30 minutes, an exam sat at the end of year 13, which is worth 120 marks. Within this paper, it is comprised of three different units. You study at the very beginning of year 12, water and carbon cycles. After Christmas in year 12, you'll study coastal systems and landscapes. And finally, a slightly larger unit in year 13, you will study hazards. Whilst this is a physical paper, there are a huge amount of human elements within this paper. For example, in water and carbon cycles, you study the Amazon rainforest and you study the impact of carbon and the management of the Amazon rainforest within the same case study. You also study interesting contrasting case studies around the world. For coastal landscapes, you will study Bangladesh and you will study coastal management and sea level rise and the effects of climate change. You will study hazards and here you will study parts of hazards you've never studied before, such as wildfires, and you look at mitigation and again how you can reduce the severity of the impacts that we're experiencing around the world. Paper two is your human geography paper, which is worth the same amount of marks, it's the same duration and the same percentage of your total A-level. At the beginning of year 12, you will study global systems and global governance. After Christmas, you'll study change in places. And then finally, the slightly larger unit in year 13, population and the environment. Global systems and global governance has lots of really clear links with economics. You look at TNCs, you look at Apple as a TNC. You look at how we're living more connected in the world and how globalisation is impacting trade and how our relations between countries are improving, whilst also looking at the disadvantages of living in a globalised world. Changing places incorporates things that you might have studied at GCSE, but is looking at more perception of place. You also look at regeneration, you look at gentrification, and you look at what place means to different people. Population and the environment, you look again at contrasting case studies. You look at Iran and you look at population control in Iran. You also look at local environments. You look at case studies such as malaria as a communicable disease and coronary heart disease as a non-communicable disease. And finally, the third and um, probably most interesting part of the course is what you undertake as an independent investigation, which is 20% and this is your coursework, which is approximately three to 4,000 words and is worth 60 marks of the 300. For this piece of coursework, we take you to Devon for a four day residential where you collect your primary data. You then come back to school and you write up your field work investigation and it's submitted in year 13. We take you on lots of field trips in geography at A-level and here is just a few photos of some of the ones that we've taken recent students on. We also take you on quite a lot of day trips in London and around London. We do coastal environments, we look at sand dunes, for example, we look at coastal management. We also do things as well like um, carbon and we do studies of uh, water cycles. We also do urban regeneration and we take you to different parts of London. We try and take you out as much as possible to see the world around you. Exam results have been excellent within geography department. Um, you can see here in 2018, 2019 and 2020, the brilliant results that was achieved by the students through the hard work and dedication they did put in. Finally, geography is a highly valued by universities as an A-level choice and it is a facilitating subject. This means it is a subject most likely to be required or preferred for entry to degree courses and choosing a facilitating subject will keep more options open to the university. It really is a great subject to study and can lead lots of different career options open to you. Thank you for listening.